These days, you gotta have an email account. It's simply the way the world communicates. Whether you're looking for a job, trying to find information, or just keeping in touch with friends, you need email. There are several free web-based email services, and you're welcome to choose whichever one you like. We feel Gmail offers great service and will best prepare you for all your online communication. So, let's get started. Step one, first type www.gmail.com into the URL window, or what's called the address bar, at the top of the screen. If you're starting on the google.com main page, you'll notice a link to Gmail at the top of the screen to the left. Or, if you look below this video, you'll see a link you can click to go straight to Gmail. Hang on, don't go away yet. It'll be easier if you watch this video all the way through first. Another helpful link you'll find below the video opens up a list of written instructions you can print out. Step two, click the big Create an Account button on the lower right-hand side of the screen. Step three, the next step is a long step, but you only have to do it once. Fill in your first and last name. Now you need your login name. This has to be something that isn't already in use. Yes, it can be really difficult to find something unique, especially if your name isn't that unusual. Try some combinations of your first and last names, initials, etc. Try putting a period between your first and last name, like Bob.Smith. Keep clicking Check Availability until you find a login name. Now, choose a password. Everyone will tell you to be super careful and choose something very cryptic and hard so no one can crack into your email. You do want to be careful, but don't make yourself crazy. Come up with something that you can remember that isn't obvious. For instance, password is a bad password. So is your name. Throw in a number just to make it a bit more difficult to guess. The security question is a way for Google to know it's you asking if you forget your password. You can even make up your own, like, what is your favorite pet? Then type in your answer, Alaskan Malamute. So cute. The recovery email is kind of a backup email. If you have a second email address, fill in this box. If not, don't worry, just leave it blank. Location should already say United States. If you live in a different country, it may already have your country listed. If not, change it to your country. Fill in your birth date. The word verification thingy is something Google uses to keep people or companies from computer generating email addresses. Google wants to make sure a real human being is filling out the form. Computers can't read the weird swoopy writing, so just type the string of letters you see into the box. It may take a time or two to get it right, and it can be frustrating, but don't give up. We all need email. The terms of service is your usual legal mumbo jumbo about service and privacy issues. If you're happy with their terms, click I accept, create my account. Congratulations, you now have an email account. You've taken the first step in connecting with old and new friends. But wait, there's more. Once you have an email account, you can spread out on lots of social media platforms. Set up a Facebook page, chat with a new pal on Twitter, even start writing your own story with a blog on WordPress. Check out the instructions on this site and join us.